a super simple and super fast recipe that produces a terrific cake that you'll want to make over and over again. The Cajun cake. Stick around. I'll show you how it's made. It's not exactly clear when this recipe came about, but it makes sense because the Cajuns could come up with something so fantastic with humble ingredients because Cajuns have a talent for coming up with a creative way to use what they have on hand. When you think about it, you probably already have all of the ingredients in your fridge or in the pantry right now. Let's get started with getting the eggs up to room temperature and that takes about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, measure out all of your ingredients as this goes pretty quickly from the bowl to the oven. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or about 176 degrees Celsius. Spray a 9 by 13 inch baking dish or pan with baking spray and set it aside. In a large mixing bowl, add to the flour, the sugar, baking soda, and salt. Whisk to combine. Next, add in the whole can of pineapple, juice and all. Add in the beaten eggs, and then the vanilla. Start to combine all of the ingredients. Pour the batter into the prepared baking pan and even it out. Bake for 30 to 35 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. While the cake is baking, go ahead and start working on the glaze. In a medium sized saucepan, add in the milk, sugar, butter, and vanilla, and bring to a gentle boil over medium high heat, stirring often. Once the mixture comes to a boil, lower the heat to medium and add in the coconut and pecans. Stir to combine and continue cooking for a further four minutes or until the mixture starts to thicken. and then remove this from the heat. Let the cake cool out of the oven for about five minutes before spreading the glaze over it. By doing this while the cake is still warm, you'll get more of the glaze to seep into the cake.
the cake to cool completely before cutting it. This cake really takes me back to my grandma's kitchen where she would just whip out these wonderful things without measuring any of it. And this is one of those flavors that you kind of go, I remember this. I'm just trying to picture where it came from. But I think my mom used to make like a yellow cake and then get this glaze to go in between it. And it was just like, that was the perfect dessert we would have every evening. If you make this cake, go ahead and leave me a comment below and let me know how it turned out. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed as much as I do. Mm. Yeah, really takes me back. This is so good. Bye.